ETA is the Electronics Technicians Association International. We've been around for over 31 years. We are an association of, for technicians and educators within the confines of electronics as a whole. We cover everything from basic AC, DC electronics all the way up through telecommunications, data cabling, computers, networking, voice over IP. We don't hyper-focus on any one key area. Our specialty is being able to focus as the electronics industry as a whole. The alternative energy industry um, is growing uh, these days and um, a lot of um, people are in entering that industry and they're not prepared, not trained, uh, and there was a need for certification for installers and integrators in the United States. Uh, we look at this as an opportunity in the United States to gain jobs and uh, solve America's energy problem. And um, uh, you know, a lot of our, our students have uh, have asked for uh, you know us to provide a training track and a certification program um, so that they can enter that field with the knowledge necessary to be a successful installer or integrator. ETA has looked at the renewable energy field and has decided to go into two separate tracks. We have the installer and the integrator tracks. Each track has three separate levels. The installer track is geared towards the person who's actually going to be doing the installation of the key systems in all areas of renewable energy. The integrator track will be for the higher level for the engineering, design, and development stages of renewable energy. The integrator track is, is really you know, designed for you know, the educated engineering type, uh, as Scott has mentioned. And, and uh, that, that audience uh, is really the individual who can, can integrate multiple alternative energy solutions uh, you know, to a specific design requirement. And, and generally, uh, that might be someone who's involved with a government project, uh, you know, looking at a specific location that you may be able to harvest, you know, multiple energy sources from. Uh, it could be someone who's in the, uh, uh, the, the uh, construction industry, uh, maybe building housing tracks that uh, are they're going to uh, create a green housing track and they have multiple energy sources. Maybe they have a combination of wind and solar or micro hydro. And the integrator is going to be that person who can uh, know the math and the science behind all of those alternative energy solutions and come up with an integrated, solu uh, an integrated solution for the whole project. The, the alternative energy program, um, the certification program, covers all the aspects of alternative energy. Where we're looking at uh, about, about seven or eight different alternative, alternative energy fields, the largest of which right now is photovoltaic installation. Uh, within that world we have uh, uh, you know, several layers of photovoltaic installer certifications that we provide. Uh, other alternative energy fields, we have a wind certification uh, for, for uh, you know, small wind generation and also large wind generation certification coming along. Uh, we also look at Sterling and uh, technology, which is not looked at by very many organizations. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, fuel cell technology uh, as an alternative energy uh, that we have a program for. Um, a geothermal, um, you know, energy, uh, you know, either a geothermal earth core or, or geothermal earth ambient temperature, uh, you know, type systems. So, so all of these things make up the alternative energy field, and alternative energy really being gaining energy from non-traditional sources. In other words, you know, those things we generate energy from that are not coal or oil based uh, and, and are generally considered clean energy as well. The target audience for the installer level certification is anyone and everyone who's going to be installing any aspect of alternative energy. It is for the person actually doing the physical work of install installing and integrating the key components within the field. Certification is necessary to in many different aspects. It's necessary for the individual to show his worth and his competency within a field. All certification does is measure the level of competency of the individual. So when you become a certified professional, it gives you self-motivation and worth. It gives you something additional to add to your resume. It give, adds more value to yourself, to your employer, and to the people that you work with. From an employer's perspective, certification is necessary for when hiring an individual, to know that that person already meets a certain level of competency and gives you a better self-assurance of what that person's capabilities are. It also helps you market yourself, your company better. Right. You can now market your company as having certified professionals doing the installation or the integration of the renewable energy products that you have. The ETA certification uh, shows uh, prospective employers or prospective customers that, that you've been trained and uh, that you've attained a certain level of understanding of that which you're installing uh, or that which you're integrating. 
uh, you know, by having this certification, uh, as Scott has mentioned, not only adds value to you as an individual, uh, but adds value to, to the customer. The person out there that goes to hire that installer or that integrator, uh, you know, sees that that individual has an ETA certification um, and, and then can rest assured that that person has knowledge of that which they're, they're working on. Uh, you know, we've had many classes of installers uh, pass through our schools and, and uh, those students that have a certification uh, will certainly gain employment in this energy field quicker than those that don't. We've also had many experienced electricians, uh, you know, come into our classroom, uh, you know, seeking a certification to prove to their customers that they know what they're doing when they go out into the field. They can show that they have that ETA certification and give the customer assurance that, that they, they're going to provide a quality product. Any school that wants to establish a curriculum in alternative energy just needs to contact the Electronics Technicians Association's office, uh, get together with their staff, and once we submit their course for approval or work within the subject matter experts within that field that they wish to achieve a new program in, and we can help them establish that. Our competencies that we help you set guidelines for what you need to achieve within that class in order for your students to receive certification. Certification is not required for, for courses, but it is the ultimate end goal you want because that certification has been established by the industry as a whole. Those are your standards or your baseline. You want to have those elements a part of your course. I think the payback for, for certification is, is, uh, comes to many, many levels. The first level of course is, is, is that they have self-confidence. If, if they've attained a certification and they go out and apply for a job, um, or they get a job, uh, you know, they, they can rest assured that they're not going to go into a field that's strange, that they don't know what they're doing in. So, you know, the, the, first, the first payback is that self-confidence the person gains. The, the, the second payback for the certification is that um, they'll be recognized by their peers and their employers um, as a valued employee um, or a valued contractor, or, you know, and, and that, that, that they will gain, um, you know, a higher level of pay, most likely. Um, you know, we can't guarantee that, but, you know, certainly, um, you know, those people that come into the business educated and certified uh, stand a much better chance of gaining a better employment uh, situation than those that don't. Uh, you know, so, so that's a payback as well. Uh, down the road for the companies, the payback is that, um, you know, they get to advertise the fact that, that their company or their employees um, are certified technicians and, and that, uh, you know, that company will certainly gain, um, uh, you know, new customers based on that. So, so that so there's multiple levels of payback for certification. One of the things to remember about ETA certification is ETA certification is independent of training. ETA does not offer any courses, doesn't require any courses. All it requires is a certain level of competency. All you need to do is go find your local certified test administrator. All you need to do is go find your test administrator that's local to you, make an appointment, Take your examination. If the examination requires a hands-on component, make sure they are approved to do that hands-on testing and take the test. If you have that level of competency and you, can, and you pass that examination, you become a certified professional. Every certified professional, history has proven, okay, that you can get promotion, better jobs, job security. All these things are great tools for you to utilize as individuals. These give you more aspects, more things to put on your resume. They are verifiable. These things will distinguish you in the job market, whether it's a current job and you want to be promoted, or a future job where you will have a leg up on the other candidates applying for the same position. There is no logical reason not to become a certified professional.